So let's definitely- Really, Dad, stop farting in my house! Hello, people of the YouTube world, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Simmer Claw, and welcome back to my channel. First, I'm gonna go ahead and say if you hear any noise of like a ringing, that's just my cat. She has a bell on and so I can hear her whenever she's like doing anything and currently she is on the cat tree so let's hope she stays there and decides to be quiet. But right now I am back with my drifter challenge and I am doing house two. This is the very first episode and I am super excited because we are back to the beginning at zero Samoans with absolutely nothing to our name except for our aspiration and our traits. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to Aiden Woodson. He is basically my heir for House 2, but he was born and he does have parents. In case you didn't watch House 1 and you were just going to go ahead and start from House 2, his mother is Elise Woodson and then his father is Zane Woodson and they are actually married. So that is exciting. And he does have a sister called Azalea Woodson. And of course, there is Aiden Woodson. So we are here with Aiden. His traits are creative, jealous, neat. And then I do have some other mods that gives him some other traits. So right now he got responsible from when he was basically a child up until teenager. He also got good manners, which I'm really happy he was able to get that. And then he got video gaming from, I believe it's one of like the talents and weaknesses mod. So video gaming, he is a casual gamer at most. Um, singing, he has a voice to work on. So he won't be doing any singing and gardening and fishing, green thumbs, fish whisper. So the sim is naturally talented and at connecting with the environment. Um, he'll have an easy time growing, fishing and gardening skills. So that is exciting because he does love to be outdoors, even though he doesn't have the outdoor traits. He does actually love gardening very, very much. And I'm happy he does have that. He, of course, got happy toddler from being a toddler, which is from all, having all his skills to level three. So that was also great. I was not actually able to control Aiden and Azalea and actually the husband Zane as well. I was only allowed to control Elise. So this was very hard. So I'm actually happy that he was able to get all his skills to level three. If I had control, it would probably be uh, at all at level five. And then, of course, he has the music trait from his creativity aspiration that he is on. And then he got artist and lover from Wonderful Whims. And in case you don't know what lover is, it is from a minor impression personality. Lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Nonetheless, with their desire to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. Will lover possibly conflict with jealous? I do not know, but we will definitely find out. And of course, he is an artist. So artist sims strive to create things of endearing value and achieve their vision in many cases. However, the fear of not being exceptional prevents the growth. So maybe he will have a little bit of a hard time being that right, uh, getting his writing basically noticed, but we will see about that. This house, I can only also control Aiden. So this is definitely going to be hard, but we will see. So let me go ahead and explain to you guys the goals. If you see me looking at the other screen, that's where I have the goals up, but I will try and put it up somewhere in the video, probably in the description so you guys can see it as well. So the required goals for house two are a minimum, uh, we have to create a minimum of two bedroom, one bath that is worth at least 40k simoleons. We have to marry and then move in one of the following types of scent. So either a gardener, pizza delivery, mail carrier, maid, or the repair service. So I'm hoping one of these people are still like a young adult and, and aren't elders because I know that's what lots of people have had trouble with. So I'm hoping that is it. And then one of the, and then the other thing that I'm going to do is I am also going to go ahead and try and complete the outdoor enthusiast aspiration. So I will be switching aspirations when I am doing that. So he will be definitely going to Granite Falls. 
So I'm definitely excited about that. Because I do have outdoor retreat, I did go ahead and change the last goal. Because if I do have that pack, then I can go ahead and actually change it to the outdoor enthusiast aspiration. So I'm definitely happy about that. And that is what I will be doing. That is the only like optional thing that I did decide I was going to do. So let's go ahead and jump into gameplay because I am very excited. So right now it is a Thursday morning and I am here with Aiden. He needs to sleep and we have nothing to our name. Why is there a werewolf in this world? Oh my gosh, absolutely not. In case you do not know, you can out, you can actually turn werewolves off and limit them to only moon wood mills. So I'm definitely happy about that. So you, sir, Greg, wow, why am I not surprised Greg is out of his own word? Greg, go away. Okay. I don't want to see you in this world. Go away. I, 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 uh, uh. I'm already scared for Aiden's life. So I'm going to go ahead and actually have Aiden come and sleep at this park bench right here because he doesn't have a bed. He doesn't have anything and he's super, super tired. So we will deal with everything else about him in the morning when he is not super tired. So I will see you guys then. All right, guys. So it is 10 a.m., almost 11 and Aiden is actually going to go ahead and grab this frog. He really has to pee, so I hope he doesn't pee on himself. And then we are also going to grab these beautiful, lovely plants that are here so that he can at least have some food, but we might also sell some of them just so we can buy a pea bush because he really does need it. All right, guys. So actually what I did do was have Aiden, he is not collecting anything because he really has to pee. So I actually just went ahead and sold some of the bluebells that he collected way over here from this bluebell plant. And I just sold that, which is why he has 16 simolans. I'm also going to go ahead and have him sell the sadium because that is 155 simoleons. And we are going to return back to his house with the pea bush. Okay, so Adam made it to the pea bush and I'm very happy that he did. He does stink and I'm okay with him stinking. But we are going to go ahead and collect those collectibles now. But before we probably do that, I'm just going to have him eat a strawberry just so we bring his hunger up a little bit more. And then we will go ahead and collect some collectibles and I will see you guys then. All right, guys. So I am done with Aiden and he has collected a lot of stuff, but I'm going to have him grow two of the plants that he does have right now in his inventory and then sell the flowers because I have no use for them. And then I'm going to grow the rest because we need some money just so we can have some stuff. So let's go ahead and plant all of this and start that little garden that he does have. And then I'm going to have him go ahead and probably sell the rest of the flowers and the snapdragon because we do need some money. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he is really bumming it out. I love how his mom is literally right there. Look at Elise just walking in the background. She's like, finally, freedom from them. I'm going to go ahead and sell some more stuff. So I did sell the fossil, the crystal, and I'm going to sell this rock as well. We do not need robot parts. So we should go ahead and actually breed this because then we might get a better one. I will keep those just so we can keep breathing, <laughs> breathing, breeding them. And then we are also going to keep these for food because we do not have any. Well, at least it's nice to know the pizza delivery person is an adult. And I haven't seen, I thought, I think I saw the male person who was also a adult, but it was a male. So I'm kind of hoping he gets with a female because I don't think he's gay. So we are going to try and stick with the female if we can, but we will see what we can do about that. Maybe you might be the maid, who knows? But I do want him to go ahead and water all of his plants. And why not get some social in because his mom is here. So let's go ahead and say, hey, mom, thanks for coming. I know it's kind of hard that this is all you see. Please don't tell dad. Uh, please don't tell dad that this is what I left the house for. You did it. I want to be able to do it myself as well. Why don't you go ahead and stargaze? Maybe you might be able to stargaze with your own mother. Get some social in. So Aiden is stargazing with his mom. And I think this is the time that his mom is going to say, yeah, I know this is going to be hard for you, but I've totally did this before. And I think Elise is going to kind of tell Aiden, 
a little bit and going to help him out and say, you could probably get a roof for pretty cheap and set it up like a little tent and you can put some stuff in there that'll help you survive. I see you have 495 simoleons, so you might be able to survive a little better if there is a roof over you for the nature elements because they are not kind at all. We got lucky at Oasis Spring where we are. So you were here at Willow Creek. You might not get lucky with the environment, but honey, you stink and should really deal with your stinkiness soon, okay? And of course he's saying, thanks mom for all the advice. I really do love you. And I think he's gonna go ahead and probably hug her. And let's see what we can get with what Elise has said. We are going to take her up on that offer and see what we can do about our house. So he's hugging his mom and saying, thank you, mom. And then I think he's going to go ahead and say goodbye and say, I am going to try your advice that you said, mom. All right, so Elise is leaving, but let's go ahead and see what we can do with Elise's advice. Okay, so with Elise's advice, we were able to get this roof for pretty cheap, which was basically nothing. And then let me go ahead and show you the inside what we did. So I did go ahead and buy a bed for pretty cheap. Thank you, Werewolf Pack, for this new bed. That is really, really cheap. And instead of a shower, I'm just going to have him wash his hands and brush his, te his teeth for a little bit just so we can get it up because right now food is going to be one of the hardest things for him. So if you look meanwhile back behind me, you will see that my jeans like cracked open a little. And that's because my cat stood there and was like, excuse me, I cannot go through this door. And they're like playing hide and seek with each other. It's really stupid. All right, so it is in the morning and Aiden is up. So far, all we have here are some mushrooms. So I'm actually going to go at, no, you do not dislike gardening. You're only like that. You're only saying you dislike gardening because you stink and you are upset. But take care of your bladder and then we'll go ahead and wash our hands a few couple times and see if we can't bring our hygiene up a lot. All right, so our hygiene is up, but let's go ahead and eat our, some strawberries and mushrooms to see if we can't bring that up. So for today, we are going to have Aiden do some fishing just so he can get some stuff. I love how it's love day. He is going to have a very bad love day and I cannot even say I'm sorry, but I'm going to go ahead and have him collect some collectibles and then he will do some fishing. So I will see you guys when he is fishing. All right, guys, so we are back. And currently right now, Aiden is fishing. He is hungry, so he will stop eventually to eat something. And it will probably be some mushroom and strawberries. But let's go ahead and see what we can sell out of our inventory. Definitely that spotted eggplants will definitely be leaving our inventory. We can go ahead and sell more of these plants which is the bluebell and the snapdragons because we do not need them. We'll go ahead and also sell these fossils and the crystal. And we'll also go ahead and sell this mystery time capsule because I'm not even going to bother reading it. And of course, the robot upgrade part. And maybe we can finally afford a fridge because Ada needs a fridge. But I'm going to see what the rarest uh, frog is so that he can breed it. So far, the ones that cost the most is this 30 simoleon one. And let's see if we can't breed it with something else. Yes, we can get another one of that 30. So Aiden has not caught anything so far. I think I uh, this is actually a perfect time to switch to the other one. Oh, so for the outdoor enthusiasts, he has to harvest 10 unidentifiable plants and catch five fish in Granite Falls. He has barely caught any fish, but I think I'm going to go ahead and have him stop just so he can eat something because he is getting hungry and maybe he will have better luck once he has eaten his fruits and vegetables. All right, so Aiden was able to catch a bass, but he also leveled up his fishing to a level two. Maybe we will be able to eat this bass after all. You caught an apple. Well, maybe we'll plant that apple too. Who is just throwing fruits into the water? No one knows. Mom's back. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and invite her into this little shack we have and tell her thank you because she did go ahead and give us the idea for the shack and I think she is happy to see that we did go ahead and use her advice very very carefully so I am happy about that 
we should probably plant this apple tree also. So we will go ahead and plant that. But I think he's definitely very happy to see his mom. And his mom's keeping the secret from his dad. But wait until his dad shows up and sees how he's living. If he hasn't made a better by now. So we will see. His bladder is doing fine. So all right. So I did go ahead and splurge a little. And I gave him a really good fridge. And a really bad countertop. Because I think that is totally fine. At least his food will taste better and he won't be complaining so much about the fridge. But we could really deal with that. It wasn't going to be that bad. His father's halfway and his hygiene is halfway. But maybe the next thing we will think about is his hygiene because we do need to think about that. Oh, did you? Oh, I think hugging your your mom counted as a romantic thing. We're not going to really give her flowers. So, well, we can really give her a flower as like a thank you gift for your advice. But he is like, no. Oh my gosh, your dad is here. No. All right, let's see what your dad says about the way you are living. So let's definitely, really, dad, stop farting in my house. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk to your dad and say, hey, dad, I know this is not what you thought I would be living like. I know I didn't want to accept the money you were going to give me, but it is okay. I'm going to get better. You'll see. Just don't tell Azalea because I don't want her to find out I'm living like this or else she really might think about stopping school because Azalea is a teenager right now and she is thinking about stopping school to become a freelance artist. But her <laughs> Basically, Zane and Elise are like, no, finish school. Because her brother technically did finish school. Aiden did finish school. Oh, you were making chips and salsa. I thought you were making a salad. His cooking is at a level three, so it's not bad. Are you serving a meal or is that chips and salsa just for yourself, sir? That That is what I would like to know. Maybe we should put the fish in the fridge. You'll be able to do something with this later, maybe? Oh my gosh, you're just making chips and salsa, please. All that hard work for chips and salsa was only one serving. His chips and salsa was only one serving. I am a little bit sad, but you know, it's okay. His emotion that he does have is happy and it is because it is like old times. Enjoy being near family. So at least he's happy that his mom and dad did come. Why don't you go ahead and give your dad a hug? Because you did go ahead and give your mom a hug when she did get here, but... I think it would be really nice of you to give your dad a hug and you really need to pee. He's going to go ahead and relieve his bladder and then maybe come back and talk to his parents some more. While he's relieving his bladder, I think Elise and Zane are talking about it. And I think they are actually really proud of their son, even though they are celebrating Love Day together. I think Elise kind of snuck off to come and see if her son listened to her. Dad is feeling kind of uncomfortable and mom is very happy. And I don't know if... Zane is feeling uncomfortable because he is like not comfortable with how his son is living. But hey, it's up to your son. You can't do anything about it. He moved out of the house and wants to be on his own. So you gotta let him. You gotta let him. Who is at the door now? Um, this is Sergio. Sergio, do I know you? Not really, but it's a new neighborhood for him. So I think he's gonna friendly introduce himself to people just so he has some friends. And he's probably going to go ahead and, oh, he does have a, um, <laughs> his impression of Sergio is that he is egocentric, but what does Sergio think of you? So Sergio thinks you are imaginative, which is kind of true because you are trying to be a writer and I believe you are trying to be a freelance writer, but I think mom is leaving. So let's go ahead and tell dad goodbye as well. And he should probably be following his wife on out of here. And we will go ahead and talk to Sergio and try and get to know Sergio a little bit more. Trying to figure out if he lives in this neighborhood or something like that. But we will find out. All right, so dad just left. Mom just left. I really thought they were leaving. But let's go ahead and make a salad. We need a... <laughs> we need light in this house, okay? I totally forgot about a light. Let's see if we can possibly, nope, not gonna happen with this. At least we have food and don't have to worry about our food now. But Sergio, it's kind of getting late, so maybe you should go ahead and go home as well so that we can go ahead and go to sleep. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday at 8 a.m. And currently right now, Aiden is sad because he had an awful holiday. 
but let me see how her, our plants are doing. We are going to brave nature and try and get out there and take care of our plants real quick. And then we will take care of our bladder also very quickly and come back inside because I am scared he might die. But at least his gardening is going on and so is his money. All right, so Aiden was able to take care of everything he needs. He is actually gonna go ahead and clean the sink for because he is a neat person. But I think the fact that he's also feeling kind of dirty Dirty is getting to him so he is going to probably want a shower very very soon actually i think we can afford a shower thank you university for this 300 simoleon shower thank you very much i will be taking one now because it will help with his hygiene since he is a neat sim plus also that ring outside is not helping anybody whatsoever but he does need to go ahead and just finish cleaning up what he had for breakfast but it seems like just in time the rain has finally stopped so maybe we can actually go around and collect some collectibles just so we can have a little bit more money to play around with oh my gosh our dad just turned into an elder right at our door oh my gosh happy birthday dad did you come in to literally spend your birthday with us instead of mom like what I feel super honored to know that he decided to spend it with us. But he looks pretty good for an elder, if you ask me. Um, let's go ahead and, of course, sell the ones that we will not be using. 634 simoleons. This is nice. I feel like currently right now he's got a little bit of what he needs to survive. But he does need a laptop or a computer of some sort. But I think I'm going to try and keep saving money so that we can get maybe a thousand simoleons so we can actually travel. Well, we can't travel unless we get invited to somewhere, but I'm hoping we can get a thousand simoleons. He really needs something for his fun. All right, guys. So I decided to get that painting for him, um, an easel, because I think that will bring in a little bit more money and we will get to where we need to get to sooner. Hey, dad, it's romance festival. Maybe you should think about taking mom somewhere together preferably without us instead of being here i know you feel kind of like an elder and i know it's nice to get out but dad go back to mom it's romance day you should be it's love day well it was yesterday but still you guys should spend time together i think dad kind of wants to move but he can't talk mom out of moving because he did have a thought bubble about moving but i think he hasn't had that happened yet and i don't know if azalea is actually a young adult okay so she is still in school i will definitely give her the um freelance artist thing and have her do it just on her own because i think she would be really good at it at least this is bringing his fun up because if i was having a hard time bringing aiden's fun up but if you ask me we are going to sell I kind of have a, I really want to keep this painting because it's, it's like his first one that I can, I'm framing it. I'm keeping it. I'm going to frame it and keep it. Oh, I sold it too late. Oh my gosh. Our mom is here. I think our mom knows that dad is in here. Let's go ahead and invite her in. Mom, would you like to take your husband away? Because that would be very much appreciated. All right. So Aiden has did a couple paintings. So we are almost back where we started. He's painting again autonomously. Autonomously. On his own. <laughs> because he does love painting. So he will paint on his own a few couple times when I'm not looking. Aiden is heading to sleep guys. So I will see you guys in the morning when he wakes up. Good morning guys. It is Sunday at 7.30 a.m. Aiden's taking care of his garden. And then of course he's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. But he just basically got to a thousand simoleons. And I'm super excited because we can travel to places now. And what a beautiful time for it to be summer kickoff. That is definitely very exciting. Maybe mom and dad will invite us to their house and we can do something for summer kickoff. But we'll see, maybe not. All right, so Aiden is grabbing some of that delicious salad he made a few couple of days ago. Hopefully he still have, has enough in his fridge, but currently our money is at 1,283 simoleons. We are doing great. I think eventually we are going to need to check to see what is he's thinking about his dad. So that's nice, but I think we will order pizza 
maybe a little bit in the afternoon and see if maybe it's a female that pops up and see if maybe it's a young adult. We might just get lucky. But let's go ahead and have him take a shower. And of course, because he is a neat freak, we will go ahead and have him clean some stuff around so that it feels clean to him. So right now, Aiden has decided he is going to paint something. I think he is painting a figure painting or something like that. But he did this, yeah, he did this autonomous, oh, he did this on his own once again. And I'm gonna let him, but he does need to also clean up his salad that is in his inventory because we do not need that. But let's go ahead and put the vegetables in the fridge. All right, guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys are excited for a, I guess, season two of this house this is of course house two with aiden and i'm super excited about it but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode so much that you consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell icon to get notified when i post new videos i will go ahead and actually leave house one in the card so in case you do want to see it i will go ahead and leave the playlist and then I will also leave the last episode, which was our last episode where Aiden aged up into a young adult. I will also go ahead and leave that episode in case you are getting caught up or anything like that. But love you guys so much. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.